Only a cup of tea and biscuit away, there's a land called Holiday Island, Tasmania, where history is at every turn. For years, Tasmania has been synonymous with apples, Australia's Apple Isle. The tendency is to think of Tasmania in terms of agriculture and tourism. From the earliest days of Victorian engineering, when most of the machinery was imported from Britain to the developing colony, lessons in precision engineering were learnt the hard way, in the field. As a result, Tasmania is now more than just a pretty place. It holds a unique niche in international precision engineering. Now, how precise is precise? Defined precisely, precision is an accuracy related to the size of the object involved. The accuracy required in fitting and balancing a tiny component in a one centimeter watch is relative to fitting and balancing the two meter diameter blades in a jet engine. In each case, the allowable tolerances are so fine that unless they're rigidly adhered to, wear could cause the eventual destruction of the whole machine. Hobart Science Centre is one place where precision begins. Engineering students are taught the need for precision from their very first day until graduation five years later. Precision is measuring the deflection of one-tenth of a micron, or four millionths of an inch, in a 300 kilogram block of granite when pressed by a human hand. While the Science Centre provides training in design and practical engineering, working models such as a frictionless table demonstrate theoretical aspects of engineering. The Lucas Heights Atomic Energy Commission in New South Wales uses three goniostats made by the Science Centre. Goniostats are positioning devices for small samples used in the investigation of atomic structures. Two similar instruments are used by the Australian Institute of Nuclear Science and Engineering. These instruments were so delicate that they had to be taken by hand to their destinations. Science Centre Precision even extends to helping the gambler balance his budget. At Hobart Casino, wheel balance is regularly checked by specially designed instruments. All dice used in crap games are subject to the same rigid scrutiny. But precision engineering takes many forms. At Rochalie, a suburb of Launceston, one large firm makes engine bearings used by all automobile manufacturers in Australia and exports to 70 overseas countries. A labour-intensive operation, this industry controls the product from design, then stamping out, through to packaging the finished product. Such is the precision and quality of this work that the engine bearings in a family car are identical with those in high-revving racing car engines. A subsidiary of the same Launceston firm uses powder metallurgy to produce intricate solid components. The powder, which looks and feels like talcum powder, is compressed at 617 megapascals, or 40 tons to the square inch, until the component becomes solid. After sintering, a vacuum tank forces oil into the metal, which becomes self-lubricating. These components are used in a variety of household appliances. The ancient craft of working in brass proves that the artisan still has a place in manufacturing despite the regimentation of the assembly line.
brass founders produce something beautiful while still precise to individual usage. The world's smallest and largest locks have been made since 1883 at the subsidiary of the Launceston Brass Foundry. Locks designed and made in Tasmania find a ready market in the Pacific area. Cabinet locks, padlocks, safe locks, security locks and common household locks pour out by their thousands from this factory. In the research field, this company developed a welded key, the first of its kind in Australia. A very large proportion of the firm's output is taken by a Victorian safe company. Tasmanian locks are used in ordinary fireproof safes, safes of jeweler quality for storing diamonds, and safes of bank quality. The railway department tool annex in Launceston has the state's only heat treatment plant. This, plus a modern machine shop, play a major role in fulfilling defence contracts and vital component parts for the nation's aircraft industry. Because of the highly precise nature of the work, each individual part comes under close scrutiny from a quality control engineer. No fewer than 16 items made in the Tasmanian Annex go into Nomad, Australia's remarkable short takeoff and landing utility aircraft now being sold to many countries. Nomad has the ability to use short rough fields for its base, combined with a good load carrying capacity and better than average speed. The tool annex also makes parts for guided missiles and for some years has machined units for the Jindavik pilotless target aircraft used by Australia and some other countries. Above ground or below, Tasmania's engineering techniques are of paramount importance. At Kingston, a seaside suburb a few kilometres from Hobart, is a firm which manufactures highly precise hydraulic motors. The American parent company, which specializes in shaft and tunnel boring machinery, considers the Kingston plant the elite part of its operation. Locally designed and built hydraulic motors, first used on a tunnel boring machine known as the Mole, today have a wide application. One motor has worked 10,000 hours underwater on a mining dredge with no maintenance. High torque, slow revving motor has manufacturing tolerances of three thousandths of a millimeter. Among its diverse applications, one hydraulic motor drives the swing bridge on the Denison Canal to allow fishing boats direct access to Tasmania's east coast. An old established firm deals in all types of optical scientific work, from lenses for missile tracking telescopes to prisms for binoculars. One of the larger orders for this very small company calls for mirror blanks, ground to an accuracy of one-eighth of a wavelength. Finished blanks are exported to a company in Melbourne, which manufactures scientific instruments. After reflective coating, the mirrors are used in atomic absorption spectrometers, which have a worldwide market. Although the parent company is American, the instrument is an Australian invention. Its purpose is to detect minute concentrations of metallic elements in samples. The machine may be adjusted to cover any other range of 66 elements. For example, food cans are normally sealed with solder. Spectrometers are used for quality control 
to ensure that lead has not been absorbed into the contents. Typical of much one-off precision laboratory equipment is the chymograph. This is used to demonstrate the physiology of muscle contraction to university zoology students. A toad's heart reacts to stimulants and depressants which are recorded on the chymograph. Working in glass is a precise and beautiful operation. Glass engineering calls for exceptional skills to produce objects which are works of art in their own right. There are many others using a variety of crafts and materials, all part of the unique world of precision engineering in Tasmania.